Charles start out with there. Jamal Murray back. That's one of the early season stories. He is playing very well for Denver. They bring in Contavious Caldwell Pope. They get Bruce Brown, the former Brooklyn Net. And there's a look at Jamal Murray and Reggie. He had in New Orleans Sunday 18 points. He has scored 18 points or more, five consecutive games, as he tries to reclaim where he was before he blew the knee a couple years ago. Yeah, all while shooting 45% and 38% from downtown. And you can see the glimpses, the glimpses starting to come back for Murray, the ones that we saw in the bubble while down in Orlando when he was an absolute terror. Good crew working this game tonight. Eric Lewis, Nick Booker, along with Ray Acosta. So the Dallas Mavericks are right now number nine in the Western Conference, but only three and a half games away from the top team, Phoenix. Who they beat, like we said last night, in Dallas by 19 as the Mavs shot 52% and hit 20 threes. The Nuggets come in 14 and 9. Mavericks at 12 and 11, and away we go with Jamal Murray. Great to see him back on the floor as they swing it around. Inside Gordon as he pops into Finney Smith to get the first two. Let's talk about a guy who's been on fire as well, Aaron Gordon, over his last seven games, averaging 19 points, but more importantly, shooting 66% from the field. It's easy two right there for Gordon. Hardaway, he has been on a tear. Shot clock at seven. This is with Jokic and Caldwell Pope from behind. And Contavious Caldwell Pope will pick up the first personal foul. That'll be a great matchup tonight. Caldwell Pope uh, can shoot outside. He plays perimeter defense. And that's one of the reasons why they got him and made the trade. And we have a player cut, and it's Luka. You can see it on his left bicep there. And so they'll go over to the uh, sideline and take a look at that. By the way, earlier this season, as we kind of do some housekeeping on the Nuggets, uh, Doncic passed Wilt Chamberlain for the most triple doubles by a center. Now the number one mark belongs to Jokic with 51 in his career and a long way to go. Look, anytime you're passing the great Wilt Chamberlain, you're doing something right. And something I've already seen defensively, and I know it's only been one play, but Jason Kidd, anytime Jokic is going to catch the ball in that post, they're going to immediately double team him to get the ball out of his hands. Now remember, I mentioned this at the top, he is one of the most gifted passers we've ever seen in this game. Nice ball rotation, here comes Hardaway, he'll put up a two. Nice rebound collected inside by Bruce Brown. Brown will fly the other way with Murray on top. So the Nuggets are 14-9, and nine, and at home they are 6-2. There's the double team immediately. Yep. And TV is called for the To get Casey B in the ground as well. These are two guys that, if you're Coach Malone, you can count on defensively. There's that step back there by Doncic. Doncic with the miss, had 33 last night against Phoenix. Gordon at the other end. Yes. And Gordon's three-point shooting has really been terrific. He's up to 37% so far. This is the one thing that Coach Kidd did not want to see. This is the second game of a back-to-back. -back. You're coming to altitude. You played great last night at home versus Phoenix. And what does Denver do? They get off to an 8-0 run here. So Murray picks up the foul with a look at Aaron Gordon. 19 points Sunday against New Orleans with eight rebounds, and he has shot better than 50%. 14 straight games. He has really shot the ball well. 